Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great weekend, which this video probably won't go up until Monday. So I hope everyone is having a great first day of the new week. Really quick announcement, this channel will go back to being my reality TV news and gossip channel where we will talk about all things reality TV and all of my true crime will go over to the Bass Chat. I know it's been a little unorganized lately, but we're gonna get it organized and we are gonna flow in an organized way after that. So just bear with me, y'all, y'all. I can't even believe this. Ryan Edwards is in rehab, which honestly, where he needs to be. He needs to be in rehab for probably a year and then he needs to go to jail for a couple of years because Ryan Edwards has been doing the most lately and we do know pretty much that he has in fact slipped. He is no longer sober in my personal opinion. I think he has, um, went back into his addiction and not even a little bit, but it's my personal opinion that it is full blown. Let me give you guys the details of what is happening. So we do know that Mackenzie filed for a divorce. She left Ryan. Um, I think the divorce on the paperwork, she stated that they separated in January, but over the past few weeks, things have just gotten really bad. So when she first left Ryan, she had to go get a protective order or a restraining order because Ryan was threatening her. He was, if he could get close to her, like in her presence, he would threaten her. He would get physical with her. He would um, do things like throw nicotine in her face, uh, call her names. He was going after her on social media, uh, saying that she had cheated on him, things like that. It got really bad. She took out a restraining order. The cops show up to serve him with a restraining order. The cops showed up at his house more than once. And you guys, the notes have come out, the statements have come out as to what the cops saw when they went to the Edwards house and it is shocking. So let me tell you guys what is being noted that the home looked like because apparently Ryan went crazy in that house and he destroyed everything that wasn't his or his two children, Stella and Jagger. If it belonged to him, Stella or Jagger, seems like he didn't really mess with it, but anything that was maybe theirs together or the house, a, Mackenzie's, he destroyed. So let's get into this, you guys. So according to the police report, officers arrived at Ryan McKenzie's home on February 10th. They were met with a horrific scene. Uh, the reporting officer is um, Deputy Madison Hazen. She wrote in her report that the home had been completely destroyed. Now we already heard that he like damaged the home, but we didn't know the extent. So let me tell you guys the extent. So he spray painted the walls, he ruined the appliances, and he nearly trashed everything in the home. I wish we had pictures. I mean, I hate to say it. Uh, that probably would be a little invasive for like Mackenzie if we had pictures and we, sh we were showing them, but I do kind of wish I had pictures just to kind of see the scene. But not gonna lie, this article paints a pretty good scene that we can kind of imagine in our head. So officers arrived on the scene one day after Mackenzie had taken out a temporary restraining order against Ryan, the order was served on February 9th, stated that Ryan was not allowed to be at home unless he was accompanied by a uniformed officer, and that was only to get his belongings from the home. Now, Ryan and Mackenzie obviously had already split at this time, with Mackenzie, like I said, listing their separation date in the divorce filing as far back as January, which two months ago. Deputy Hazen reported that upon arriving to the home, she immediately noticed that several bedroom windows windows were shattered with personal items had been thrown out of the windows and were all over the front yard of the home. Inside, the damage done was even more shocking. Things were spray painted. He took a marker and was writing things all over the place. He had spray painted all over the place. He destroyed the, the light fixtures, the walls, and a lot of their possessions with spray paint and markers. According to Deputy Hazen's report, she said the refrigerator was tipped over and leaning against the counter. The doors were open and had been written on in permanent marker. I observed a loaded AK on the kitchen counter. The microwave had been spray painted blue. The dining room table was flipped over and had been spray painted with profanities, as had the patio window and other walls in the house. There was also writing and black marker on the walls. 
Ryan allegedly used a knife and other items to punch holes in the wall. She said, I observed white paint smudges across the floor as well as a knife stuck into the wall holding a note. I hope she got like the note on her like her body cam or like took a picture of it. I am very curious what the note says, but that's probably a little too invasive, invasive as well, like for Mackenzie, if we were to see that note. But I'm curious, you guys. Like, I feel like it was probably, like, threatening language on that note. The officer goes on the note, notate, I observed several other holes in the drywall and several pointed metal objects also stuck into the drywall. That's a little scary. Like, you got knives stuck all in the house with notes on them. That's, like, psycho behavior, in my opinion. She also said, I observed the couch being placed upside down against the front door. We know that, um, you know, Ryan accused Mackenzie of cheating. Um, according to the officer, a lot of the graffiti on the walls was allegations of infidelity by Mackenzie against Ryan. Uh, the report also notes there was also glass all over the floor as several windows had been broken. Deputies observed a wedding photo hanging in the hallway and he had also written on the wedding photo. Once again, very curious as to what he said. I'm sure it wasn't anything nice. The doors of the cabinets had been removed and they were on the couch and one of the doorknobs to the closet had been broken off. Now, this is where things go from just like terrible to now disgusting. Deputies also observed that the master bedroom had a strong odor consistent with fecal matter. So in their notes, they're like the bedroom smell like straight sh poop. Thankfully, no one was located, but it has me wondering, like, did they lift the lid on the toilet? Was the toilet backed up or something? Like, why was the smell of poop? Did Chance leave, like, some little piles of poop under the bed or something? Did Ryan do it? Did Ryan pull an Amber Heard? Did he get into the bed and squat and poop and then cover it up with a blanket? Like, I'm curious about this. Maybe too, too much so. Like, I'm very curious if Ryan took cues from Amber Heard. You guys know what I'm saying? Or I'm just curious if Chance, maybe, maybe Chance did it. Maybe Chance pooped under, or maybe it was the toilet. I don't know, but I am curious. The officer reported that a black marker had been used to write on the walls near the bed and broken glass was shattered all over the floor in the bedroom as well. They said the bedroom appeared ransacked. The master bedroom had been damaged and items were thrown about. In addition, it was reported that the power had been turned off or at least cut off because none of the lights were working and the house was really cold in more ways than one, right? Ugh. The only part of the home that appeared to be untouched, according to the police report, were the bedrooms that belonged to Jack and Stella, the things in their bedrooms, um, as well as the garage where, where Ryan kept his tools and other possessions. So of course he didn't mess up any of his things. Deputy Hazen wrote in her report, upon entering the garage, I observed none of Mr. Edwards' property been damaged. Um, including a Cub Cadet Zero turn mower and other tools. Also, Mr. Edwards' gaming system, driving setup for a game, and gaming TV were not damaged. Deputy Hazen wrote in the report that Ryan was wearing some incriminating evidence when he was arrested at his job later that day. So I'm like, wait, what? What was he wearing? He had paint on him. So upon searching Mr. Edwards, I observed white paint on the top and side of his boots, which appeared to match what I observed on the floor of the Edwards residence. So he he had evidence on him, the white paint. Clearly he did it that day before he left to go to work or he did it while wearing those boots because it was all over the boots. So, I mean, we could say allegedly it was him, but considering none of his things were messed with and he was wearing the paint, probably safe to assume that this was Ryan, right? The report did not say whether, whether or not Ryan admitted to doing the damage of the house or if he denied that it was him, but come on. Come on, right? Uh, the Ashley has previously reported that McKenzie filed for divorce from Ryan last month. On March 14th, Ryan pled guilty to harassment charges against him related to his treatment of McKenzie over the last month. So because he was arrested and he had drugs on him, he was ordered to go to rehab. Um, he pled guilty to harassment charges. Other charges against him were dropped. I'm actually shocked that he did not get more of a punishment. Um, I think he got 11 months probation 
and that time can be reduced depending on how well he does in rehab and how long he stays in rehab. No jail time. He has to wear an ankle monitor. He cannot be around McKenzie. If he gets close to her, she will be alerted through that GPS ankle monitor. But I think he deserved jail time for this. I mean, McKenzie literally wrote statements saying, like, he has threatened me. She had, you know, friends that could witness this behavior. Her father-in-law. I mean, text messages. The shape of the house. I mean, come on. This guy, what he was doing on social media. Uh, making these allegations against her on social media. Clearly, he's dangerous. I hope he gets some help. But either way, you guys, that was the condition of the house. That's a really sad situation because that home was Jagger and Stella's home. Whether or not they were going to live, stay there all the time, that needed to be a place of comfort and like fam familiarity. So if they did get to go see their dad, they could be at their home with their things. But now that home is destroyed. Um, either way, I really can't say that I'm shocked. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys shocked to hear the damage done to the house? I am curious about the poo, the smell of the poo. Where did that come from? If we find out, I'll let you guys know. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me all your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.